what's going on, Knuckleheads community. Um, we're in Idaho. Very first time I've ever been in Idaho. We just crossed over. Yep. We just crossed over from Washington into Idaho. We're up here on business and uh, visiting a friend at the same time who's related to the business. But uh, my thought of the day with this is road tripping. When, you, when you're going on a road trip, make sure you plan ahead. Plan ahead for contingencies that you don't expect. Have some extra money set aside. An emergency credit card. I know Dave Ramsey says no credit cards. Um, or an emergency debit card. Whatever it is that you have set aside. So to make sure that you are not stuck somewhere that you can't get back home. Like um, you have a flat tire. Uh, your car breaks down. You need to rent a car. Anything like that. So always be prepared for a contingency. And whatever that dollar amount is that you set aside. Three, five hundred, three to five hundred dollars thousand dollars whatever it is just be just be prepared uh, it takes the stress off of both of you my wife is a CFO of the family and I'm a I, CFO I, what's yeah, that chief financial officer <laughs> I am a financial buffoon if I make a million dollars a year I'll spend a hundred and ten million dollars a year or a hundred million or whatever I'll spend more than I make so I trust her with the money but um, by having that cushion it takes stress off of her who is who does the numbers and it takes stress off of me because she's not stressing out anyway with that I keep saying anyway with that I'll you want to say it or you want me to say it well I'll just give them a quick pan view of the beautiful scenery right yeah. before I let everybody go but we're between Spokane and Athol 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 sounds like you say a cuss word holding your tongue Right, or you shoved a bunch of marshmallows in your mouth and tried to say the A word. <laughs> yeah. My kids cracked up when I told them where I was going. So yeah. Typical like, kids. Definitely. It's a... This actually reminds me a little bit of, uh, like, going up to Lake Tahoe um, when you're on the backside, but they, they have the big redwoods out there. Or not. I don't know if they're redwoods or not, but they have big trees out there, and they're on either side, but it's beautiful. I don't know what the elevation is. I think we're about 2,000 feet. Yeah, something like, I, yeah, I think 2,000, I think we're climbing maybe another 1,000 maybe today, if that. Yeah. It's like 3,000, I think, is where we're going to end up at. One thing I want to say, though, that's really cool is that apparently Washington is an open carry state. Arizona is an open carry state where, we, where we're where we staying part-time. And, um, oh, school bus. School bus. So stop. Definitely stop for a school bus. Yeah, you don't ever want to, you just want to pretend it's like an ambulance. Right. <laughs> so, Arizona's an open carry state, Washington's an open carry state, and Idaho's a concealed or open carry constitutional carry state, which means if you don't have a felony, you can carry a gun however you want, but uh, it's interesting because I don't see people, I don't see people carrying, even though they have the right to. So, anyway. I know Jen's shaking her head saying, no politics. Yep, no politics. This is just fun stuff we're talking about today. Keeping it light. Well, that's... I'm not talking politics. I'm talking... Yeah, but some people are really passionate about those kind of things. I They're know. either really for them or really against them. Right, I get it. But, ooh, look at the mountains. <laughs> Very pretty. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, got a train yard. Yeah, there's, that's an actual train yard. There's a bunch of train tracks going way far that way. Yeah. They look at the little museum pieces or whatever these are. I hate to be trapped on the other side of that railroad crossing. <laughs> you missed on the left side all those little tractors. Right. Did you catch Sorry. them? Sorry. No, I didn't. I was looking at the train. But I don't want to make everybody sick <laughs> with like a five-minute road video. But did you want to say it instead of me this time? Yeah. Hansen? I will say uh, like subscribe comment start commenting because we don't know how we're doing if it's good or bad or whether or not you even watch actually we see how many views we get but um, let us know how we do also let us know if there's anything you want us to discuss because we've gotten kind of away from the discussing the hard topics like what do you do if a spouse cheats what do you do if a spouse dies what do you do if a spouse is addicted what do you do if uh, if you're in an abusive relationship those are the topics that we can cover, so, and we can go over if you want us to specifically about what the Bible says about those things. So, with that, I will say, see ya.